I'm putting it out there. I am not the storyline season five. Find a new one. <laughs> Super excited to talk to you today. I mean, obviously, this past season of Real Housewives of Salt Lake City has been totally insane. I'm curious to hear from you. Like, where do you think we go from here? Post-Reality Bontees, post-Monica? Um, I'm so over the trolls. So, like, since season two, we've been dealing with them. So, I'm, like, relieved. I, like, or season three, I guess, we've been dealing with them. So, I'm kind of relieved. Um that there's no more reality bunties and no more trolls. But I think what people are starting to find out is like Salt Lake is full of interesting, dynamic people. There's so many of them here. And I feel like this season, you're going to get to meet like more of Salt Lake. And, um, you know, every year everyone's like, can they top the last year? I actually think based on what I've seen so far, I think we're going to have our best season ever. Oh, that's so exciting to hear. And I'm yeah, sure that it's ever. like a relief. Yes. <laughs> going, going back and, and after all that craziness and stuff like that, what does it feel like to know that it's a new chapter for all of you ladies together? You know, it feels nice that we can finally move free of like what we dealt with in season one, two, and three. Like we can move past like Jen's no longer a part of the cast and like is like, paying restitution through like going to prison um, and stuff. So I feel like it's the first season we're going to get where we can like just have a clean start where we don't have to go backwards. We don't have to go to season one, two, and three. There's no more retread information being shared, like old stuff that we've already dealt with. Um, I just feel like it gives us a fresh start and like we're in such a different place in our relationship. So I think you're going to see more depth and dimension to those relationships there's always something going on. There's always someone that's like hurt or offended or doesn't have closure on something. So I feel like we have so many like authentic things that we're always trying to work out and then adding new things into the mix. I think it's going to be such a good season and I'm looking forward to it. Like there are some seasons where I'm like, oh my God, am I going to do this again? <laughs> um, <laughs> like I actually feel good about doing this one. Well, we're obviously happy to have you back. And what, what would <laughs> it be you. without Lisa Barney? <laughs> uh, thank you. Well, I'm curious. I feel like this was kind of like a traumatic experience for the whole cast. Did it bond you together in any way? Or is there anything that's kind of repaired your relationships with that? You know, I think when we experienced it, we kept really quiet about it. And no one asked us to be quiet about it. No one was like, don't leak this to the press. Don't tell anyone what happened this season. I think we had all gone through so much from season one on that. Like, I think we were all mentally, physically, emotionally exhausted where we kind of just like, didn't talk about it, move past it and then reliving it when it airs. And then at the reunion, it's like so much. And I feel like I don't ever like to bond with people over disdain for someone else or a fractured relationship. I think when you build a relationship on fractures and things like that, it doesn't have longevity. So I think like the one thing I've learned is like really hear people more like, um, you know, like understanding Heather's perspective and all of this and like how like she had heard that she hid, like she hid some of her hurt. And I think we were all experiencing similar things like over the years through Jen, where we didn't really talk about it. We know we experienced it. We understood who we were dealing with and like how that impacted each one of us. And then you start to see how deeply it impacted like Heather and like how she was quiet about things to like, um, just because it's easier. Like, honestly, it was like easier. It's like easier not to start a fight with someone who loves to fight. So, mm -hmm. and like fights dirty and fights with lies. So I think in a way, like after the season, I'm like, we all talked about it. Like, I'm like, we've all gotten a black eye from Jen in some way, shape or form, whether it was the list on social media saying all these lies about us that like, spawned an investigation to prove it wrong. And then she admits like, well, it wasn't really that, you know, after causing so much damage, I think like we've all gone through so much that we have like an underlying respect for each other and understanding of each other. And I think that's what bonds you is like understanding that like we've gone through similar things together. And I mean, no other housewife show has there been like Homeland Security, the FBI and NYPD showing up, someone going to prison. So I feel like in that regard, we're kind of always going to be bonded. We created the show together. I mean, not many shows has four, five original cast members like Mary Whitney, me, um, Heather Meredith. 
all on the show still. So I think for us, it's been like, we've gone through it together. We understand what it feels like. We don't even have to talk about it. It's just there. I talk a lot. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's all great. Well, I mean, obviously there is the drama though. Of course it's housewives. And I heard Whitney say on a podcast earlier this week that if there's a villain in season five, it would be you. Were you surprised by that? What do you think? Um, how am I the villain? I, if the villain means you tell the truth and are like an accountant with receipts, I am the villain. Like if you don't, I think some people have a hard time. If you lie about me, I'm going to tell the truth about myself and you can't say I'm insensitive or I should just say, sorry, if you lie about me, you should say you're sorry. Like I don't owe an apology. And I think um, if that makes me a villain, I guess I'm a villain. More people call me an accountant because I always come with the receipts and the proof. But I'm like, if you want to call me a villain, that's fine. But I never talk derogatory about any of my castmates. I'll explain situations, but to put a label on me after we just experienced a real villain and not just one, like two, um, is interesting to me. Yeah, definitely yeah. interesting. I'm not the storyline season five. Like I'm putting it out there. I am not the storyline season five. Find a new one. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. When yeah. you were keeping your hands clean, you were keeping all sorts of things clean. You've got yep. this really cool partnership with Clorox. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about it because it's so glam and it sounds like a blast. You know, um, I do have a bedazzled um, thing of Clorox in my cabinet. Like it's all like, <laughs> it's blinged out. But um, I love Clorox. It's super organic for me. Um, but way before this partnership, I've always talked about my love of Clorox. Like I grew up with five siblings, there's six of us. And my mom is a neat freak. Like our house literally could have been hermetically sealed, always spotless surfaces, um, disinfected. And I love Clorox. Like I filmed with it a couple of seasons ago where I'm cleaning the toilets and I always have Clorox. We always have a lot of people in our house and I love my house clean. I like every surface spotless. And so it was super organic. And the fact that I get to be a part of uh, sharing that they're giving away a glam weekend for two in New York is so exciting. Like I love going on watch what happens live. Like sometimes I think it'd be fun to be in the audience and it's like such a cool experience to like see the talent and Andy and like watch how everything goes down in this small space, the opportunity for two people over 21 to win the chance to like go to New York and experience like, you know, I love my glam. This like glam weekend um, it's so cool. I'm going to be posting more about it on my social media, um, and like how to enter, um, and like hopefully win. um, there's up to 80 prizes. So, um, almost like 80 other people are going to win something that's like a spa experience at home or a glam experience at home. But I love the partnership. Um, every time I, I'm like a very clean person, like even my makeup team knows, like, don't touch Lisa's face. Like <laughs> <laughs> I don't like you. With like even Sundance, like we have to keep everything disinfected. And the nice thing about Clorox is it gets rid of 99.9% .9 of like viruses. So it's like so great. Like, so you don't have to worry about things like that. There's always something, but if you like are cleaning your surfaces, it's like reduces the risk of that. And with like Sundance and being around so many people, it was nice to have it with us because it's like wipe everything down, make sure it's clean and spotless. But it's a very natural, organic um, partnership. And I love that I'm a part of it. Oh, I love that too. And we always love seeing you on Watch What Happens Live. I, I got to know before I let you go, who would be like your dream co-guest next time you go on? Oh my gosh, there's so many. Like probably Victoria Beckham. <laughs> like oh, yeah. I would die to be sitting next to like Victoria Beckham, um, Jennifer Lawrence on Watch What Happens Live. There's nothing better. Like I'm like, I'm like watching like her dynamic with Andy and I'm like, I want to be in the chair next time. I mean, it would be hard because she's so like, like everything and inviting, but she would be like epic to be with. Um, Khloe Kardashian would yeah. be like everything. Like I love Khloe Kardashian. I think she's like, so like real all the time and like just bold and she's evolved so much. And I've, mm -hmm. I've loved her since the beginning because I think she like, lives in real reality, even though they've been yeah. on the show for so many years. But I think those would be probably my three favorite. And then maybe Angelina Jolie. Oh, like my I God. would die to bad. see her as a housewife. And then like, I've been obsessed with her beautiful lips, like since forever. So I'm like, yeah. that would be iconic to be like sitting next to her. Like would love oh, it. Oh my God. Yeah. 
That would be like amazing. Jack, my oldest son, is in Bogota, Colombia right now. And when he was little, he was obsessed with that movie, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. And I was just watching it the other day and it was like on, I was like background noise while I was working. And I'm like, oh my gosh, the first place that they went to, like Brad and Angelina was Bogota, Colombia. And I'm like, how kismet is that, that Jack, that was like his favorite movie. And now he's there. It's like so cool. Oh my God, that is so cool. And how is Jack doing? He's doing great. He loves Bogota. He's like, they get a P day. So once a week, they like have like um, eight hours of service free. Like they're not doing anything, but they can do me time and like go explore Bogota. He was golfing yesterday. We get to talk to him every Monday, which is kind of amazing. And um, he is exploring, like, you know how he has his men's grooming line, Fresh Wolf. He's like, I've been going to all these like sick barber shops and they're so different than they are in America. So he's like videoing everything. And he's like, we need something like this in Utah when I get back. But it's fun seeing him evolve and grow. Um, we we miss him cra- like crazy and we can't wait till he's home. But I love seeing Jack like mature. Yesterday when I was talking to him, he's like, I don't need a manager. And I'm like, I'm always going to be man- <laughs> trying to manage you, Jack. Like that's never going to stop. <laughs> Right. That's your right as a mother. <laughs> yes. That's my right as a mother. <laughs> I'm going to tell him you said that. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> you can blame it on me. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you so much for talking with me today. So wonderful to meet you and so great to get all the updates on Real Housewives of Salt Lake City and your wonderful partnership with Clorox. So thank you so much for your time. 